Some guys, their style is to come in and raise holy heck, and they might have some success, but before you know it, they're on to the next place because they can't sustain it because they didn't build it on the right foundation. They didn't build it on the type of uh, rock that I believe this program is being built on with Coach Tomlin. And uh, I have the ultimate faith in him, but I can tell you that, again, uh, things won't happen the way y'all want them to happen unless everybody buys in and, and, and believes and begins to, uh, the players especially, must buy into what the coaches are doing and must uh, set a standard. The older players have got to set a standard for the younger players, and the younger players have got to follow suit. And you've got to, you guys have got to stay together. And if you do that, then, then awesome things can happen and, and will happen. I believe that uh, for this program. I really do. Um, before I go, I don't want to stay too long, but I do want to leave with um, uh, a life verse for me. Uh, we started out praying, which I like. Uh, of course, this community is a bunch of uh, believers, and I think that's wonderful. But uh, for me, uh, a verse that I try to live by is Colossians 3.23, and it says that uh, whatever you do, do your work heartily unto the Lord rather than for men. And uh, what that means basically is what it says. You know, whatever you do, I, I think sometimes people get a little bit crazy as to what do I need to be doing with my life, you know. Um, what is, what's God's will for my life? What does he want me to do? And I think... Basically, he probably wants you to do something where your gifts are. You kind of know what you're good at and what you like and what you enjoy. I think that's what he wants for you. But I don't think he cares as much what you do as, as, as how you do it and who you do it for. So whatever you do, whether you're a parent, whether you're a student, a player, a coach, a doctor, a mayor, you know, uh, whatever you do, do your work heartily. It means do it the very best you can do. Do it the very best you can possibly do. That's what heartily means, to do it heartily. And then what's important is who you do it for. Do it, do it for the Lord, all right, rather than for men. And what that means to me is, uh, I, I think, uh, I mean, I know I've got, I've got some bosses in my life. Uh, Damon Evans is my boss. He's our athletics director. Uh, president Adams is my boss. He's the president of the university. Catherine Richt is my boss. She's my wife. You know, I mean, I've got some bosses. And, uh, and, and I need to uh, try to, I, try, I need to try to please the boss. And that's important in life. Whoever your boss is, do what the boss says. And uh, you've got a chance to do well in life, you know. But if our only accountability is to when the boss is watching us, that's, that's not enough accountability. Uh, because there's a lot of times when the boss isn't looking. You know, when the boss isn't looking, then what do you do? You know, there's a lot of people that think there is such a thing as a secret life. You know, when no one's watching me, I can do this. No one's going to know. But you know what? When you do your work unto the Lord, you know, the Lord sees everything you do. That's the highest amount of accountability anybody can have in life. If, if we are trying to live a life that is pleasing to the Lord, we're trying to work hard unto Him, then now if He sees everything we do, then we certainly have a, a better chance of staying on track and doing and doing the things that would be a blessing to him. It's just like our children. I've got children. Um, uh, I love them. I um, I want them to love me back. I want them to show their love to me. And uh, the, the best way they can show their love to me is by obeying me and by obeying their mom. And uh, you know, and the way they know. What we, we, we teach them what we want, how they want us, how we want them to obey. But if the only accountability my children have is to me and my wife, then, then there are times we don't see what they're doing. There are times when they're going to grow up and leave our home and be on their own. You know, so that's a great thing to obey your mom and dad because God put them in authority over you. But the greatest thing, again, is that um, we teach our children to, to be obedient to God, you know, and, and really... Just like we love our children, God created us, God loves us, um, and he, he wants a relationship with us. He wants us to love him back, and the best way we can show our love to God is to obey him. And the only way to obey him is to know what he wants, and how, how do you know what he wants? You get in his word, and you learn what he wants, and then you, and you do the best you can to obey. And again, if we 
if our lives are built around pleasing Him, then there, there is no such thing as that secret time where we go off and do the things that we know we ought not do. And we'd be embarrassed if somebody was watching. So um, that's what I try to teach my children. That's what I try to teach our players. That's what I try my best to live by. And, uh, and I think that if, if we all would do that, uh, we probably wouldn't have the 11 o'clock news. But uh, anyway, I, I don't want to make this night too long. I know there's a lot of trophies to give out. I've really enjoyed it being around everybody and spending time with y'all, and I hope you have a, a blessed night, but even more important, uh, down the road, uh, you seniors that are leaving, uh, I just want to uh, encourage you to do a great job of, of uh, leading and, and doing the right things in the future. And you guys that are coming back, uh, buy into what Coach says, buy into what the staff says, do what it takes, you know, pay the price to be a champion. And uh, you guys will be right back on track where you belong. I, I believe that sincerely. Y'all have a good night. God bless you. so far. Really appreciate Coach Rick. You know, Coach Rick could be anywhere basically he wants to be tonight. And we, of course, we wanted him. We wanted him for our 2006-2007 Wildcat football uh, banquet. And we, we called and got to know the secretary very well, Miss Ann. And uh, you know, said, you know, Coach Rick's the guy we want. He wanted to come and be part of this. And let me just say just a couple of things if I can. I know Coach Rick is a real friend of the high school coaches in the state of Georgia. He's very accessible. He gets around all over the state. He's opened his doors there at the Buttsmere building to all the coaches. Uh, one day last spring, I rode my motorcycle up to Athens and just dropped in on him. And he had enough time to come out and say hello and welcome me there to uh, the Bulldog facility, and I appreciate that. He's had several of my players, Terrence Edwards, Seth Watts, uh, to name a few. We want him to come back and get a whole bunch of our Wildcats, don't we, guys? Yes, sir. We want to come with you. Uh, I'll, uh, I'll say this. There's nowhere I'd rather our Wildcats go than the University of Georgia. No coach in America I'd rather see them play for than Coach Mark Rick. What he says tonight, that's the real Mark Rick. That's the real guy. I've seen him on the field. I've seen him in competitive situations. I've seen him in meetings. And this is what you saw tonight is what he is all about. And he is a great ambassador and representative for the University of Georgia, and I hope he's here in Georgia for a long, long time. And I want to tell you one other thing real quick. I don't want to embarrass him. We got him down here, so we certainly don't want to embarrass him. But I called, and we asked about him coming and speaking with us, and uh, this is the second time this has happened. He spoke at a banquet for me up in Washington County. He said the same thing. We talked about, uh, you know, uh, giving him a, a, a fee, a speaking fee for coming, and Coach Rick said, no, I don't want to accept the fee. I, I, I do that out of the because I want to. And so what we're going to do tonight for Coach Rick and for everybody here, we're going to make a donation in his honor to the Boys and Girls Clubs of Valdosta. Let's give Coach Rick one more big hand. <laughs> Coach Rick's had a long day already. He spent most of the day in, in uh, Atlanta. He's already said he's going to have spring practice on May 7th. I've been here a long time talking about we have some people who want to recognize that have been very special friends of our program. Uh, we're going to recognize them a little bit later. There's no way I could thank everybody that has done something special for our program. We, again, we have some awards for special people a little later on, but I want to tell you how much we appreciate you on behalf of the, the Wildcat coaching staff. And let's sit back and enjoy the evening. Thank you so much. Thank you. 